At this week's Lend It conference, where big companies and small startups alike in the online lending space will be convening here in Midtown Manhattan, all eyes will be on Lending Club, which was the first company in the industry to go public last year, and also the largest in the industry, now with a market cap of about $6.7 billion. Joining us today is the Chief Executive Officer of Lending Club, Renaud Laplanche. Hi, Renaud. Hi. No, Renaud, thank you very much for matching colors with me today. I, I didn't <laughs> anticipate Thank you. This. Well, I think technically you match color with us. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's the other way around. Um, so, Renaud, tell us a little bit about where you see the industry today and your place in the industry. I mean, it's clearly burgeoning, clearly new entrants every day, but you're still the big behemoth. Uh, how do you stay really relevant and really fresh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, Landing Club is lucky to um, uh, be the market leader and uh, we've actually sort of extended our lead uh, over the, so the, the rest of the industry over the last few years. Um, I think being, being the leader uh, gives us uh, many benefits. Uh, uh, the platform is uh, sort of more attractive, so it's a, there are marketplace dynamics and platform effects that mm -hmm. make the larger marketplace more attractive to both borrowers and investors. Uh, with more inventory, more velocity of transactions, more, more liquidity. Um, but I think being the market leader also um, uh, puts more responsibility on us to um, really set the right tone for the industry. Mm -hmm. and, um, and in particular, in terms of uh, not growing too fast, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of excitement around the industry now, which is mostly positive. Um, but we have a disciplined approach to growth, uh, which uh, I think is the right way to go about it. And, and we've uh, spent a lot of time and resources focusing on risk management and internal controls and compliance. Um, so we're trying to show the way a little bit to uh, sort of smaller uh, startups that are, don't necessarily have the same compliance infrastructure, or not necessarily the same risk management uh, infrastructure as, as we do. Uh, and, and we're making a lot of our data and our resources available to, to the, the rest of the industry as well. So another big part of your growth strategy over this past year has been partnerships. Earlier you announced a partnership with Google, uh, one with Alibaba, and today you're actually announcing a partnership with a city. Tell us a little bit about that partnership and the meaning of partnerships for Lending Club in general and your strategy. Yeah, so um, we, we, it's very important for us to continue to execute on this uh, partnership strategy that uh, has been very uh, rewarding for us, particularly partnerships with um, either sort of technology companies like Google and Alibaba or banks. Uh, so we've announced recently a partnership with Bank Alliance, which is a community, um, a, a network of 200 community banks. Um, we announced last year a partnership with Union Bank and uh, today a partnership with Citi, which is a very focused partnership. It's a um, $150 million program uh, designed to provide affordable credit to low and moderate income families um, that we believe will count towards CRA credit, so Com Community Reinvestment Act credit for, for Citi. Um, and it's just another way to use the Lending Club platform uh, to use our national origination platform to reach borrowers or consumers that might be harder to reach for a physical branch network. So it's again a way where sort of technology can help uh, make credit more affordable and more available uh, to, uh, to, to the consumers who need it the most. Um, so we're very excited about that partnership. Uh, City is, uh, is excited as well and I think the, um, the sort of CRA um, ratio and targets or something that the, the banks have sometimes hard time uh, meeting or reaching because of these populations that are hard to reach. Uh, so we believe uh, that use case uh, can be uh, replicated for other uh, banks and CD. So it's interesting that you're partnering with City, and the reason I mention that is because I think a lot of analysts have been uh, curious to see how the relationship between online lenders and major financial institutions will evolve. So on the one hand, there's speculation that there needs to be some consolidation in the industry and that'll come from big financial institutions acquiring uh, some online lenders. But Lending Club seems to be taking a different approach. You're, you're partnering with financial institutions. Are you actually betting that the financial institutions will be a large part of the driving force behind Lending Club, that they will partner with you in such a way that will actually help promote and, and sustain your product? I think that's right. I think we can help each other. Um, 
I believe we, we have an opportunity to transform the entire banking system into a massive online marketplace that operates at a lower cost and deliver better, uh, delivers better satisfaction to, to, consumer, uh, to consumers. And um, the, the banks can really benefit from that transformation and be uh, actors on the platform. So we've seen banks becoming investors on our platform. Uh, we've seen banks using the Lending Club platform to make co-branded loans to their own customers and, and uh, benefit from the lower operating cost of the Lending Club platform compared to a more direct approach uh, um, through a branch network. Um, and so we, we believe it's a very symbiotic uh, relationship with uh, the, the banks and the Lending Club platform uh, using the low cost of Lending Club and uh, the uh, sort of low cost of operations of Lending Club and low cost of capital of the banks. Renat, thank you very much for speaking with us today and congratulations again on, on the city partnership. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching The Street.